Hi, it's Sunday. We're here at AAA Hobbies in Magnolia, New Jersey, and we're gonna finish, for the most part, the train layout today. I've been working for about 20 weeks or so here on it, and that's just on the weekends, so it really hasn't been that much time if you think about it. Um, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna light the buildings up on the top, mostly in the end scale area, maybe the farmhouse. But what we're gonna do is, we're gonna use this new product from Woodland Scenics called Just Plug. It's a really cool lighting system that incorporates a, a plug and play type interface. So in other words, all the different products just plug together. The hardest part for us is gonna be determining where we're gonna put the lights in the city. We'll take the houses up, draw some lines, and what we're gonna do is route into the woods so that we can just run the wires underneath the streets and things. So the products, like I say, just plug. They, what the first thing we did was we used this light diffusing window film inside of the buildings. What that does is, when I put an LED in here, instead of you just seeing one bright LED, and we did this in a previous video, I showed you how this works, it diffuses the light so that it looks like, you know, even light all through the building. The other products that go with this, and I'm gonna pop my glasses on here so I don't tell you anything wrong. We have light hubs and, ex and an auxiliary switch. The light, the light hub, you plug power into it, and then you plug the lights into that, and you just turn it on and off with this little light switch if you want to use that, you don't have to. The power source is a basic small transformer that plugs into the wall. And then we have various light elements like little cars with headlights, LEDs that go into the buildings, and they all just plug into these ports in these boxes. So should be easy. We're gonna get started and we're gonna take the buildings off and start laying out where we want the lights. So let's take a look at the components here real quickly and I'll show you how they plug in together before I go up on the layout. Give you a better idea of what I'm doing when I do that. So if you take a look here, this is the light hub. The light hub's kind of the heart of the system. It's the hub where all the lights come out of. And what you do is you take your power and put it in it and then you run your lights out of it. You can also, if you want to have more lights, it'll, it'll do four lights. If you want to have eight lights, let's say, you can get an expansion hub, which is this guy right here. And this can be plugged into the light hub so you get more lights. So in other words, you can add on and expand. So come on around here and I'll show you how to plug these in. We'll start with just the light hub. The light hub's the basic element and we'll take the transformer, plug him into it, right where it says power in. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug the transformer in. So now I have juice in this thing. And I'll take a light. I'll take one of these LEDs that we're gonna put in the houses. And I'll plug it into the first light port. And as you see, it lit up. Now, it's not very bright, but what's cool about this system is you can adjust the LED's brightness by turning this little knob on number one. And then, like I say, you can put four lights in here. So I've got one of the Woodland Scenics cars. We're gonna put a couple of cars on the layout with lights in them. These are really neat. Just plug this guy into number two. And you can see the car's lights came on. And his tail lights, which I think are really nifty. Um, and you can do the same thing. I can turn the brightness of these lights down, turn them up with the little knob. So that's the basic unit. In other words, that's your light hub, your power, and plugging lights into it. So now let's take a look at this expansion hub if I wanna go further. Um, and I would suggest if you do this, just grab yourself an instruction sheet out of the package and it explains exactly how all these things work together. So the expansion hub, what's that about? The expansion hub basically gives you the ability to have multiple light hubs on your layout. So in other words, if I have more than four lights, if I have eight lights, I need two of these. If I have 12 lights, I need three of these. So the expansion hub, you plug your power into that, and then I put in an on-off switch here also. Then you run these expansion wires to each of your light hubs. So I could run a second one here and have a second light hub. So then if I turn on my power, bang, I have power coming out of there. And then I'll add another one and another one and another one. Hope that makes sense. So let's take a look at where the lights are gonna go on the layout. What I'm gonna do is light up the larger buildings up top here and then place some street lamps in front of the buildings and have a couple cars with the headlights on. So I've placed an LED on top of each building. There's one, two, three, there's one on the station, so that's four main buildings. Then I'm gonna have the two cars, this one here and this one here. Then I'm gonna put street lamps too. You can see this is one of the street lamps here. Hold it up so you can see it. And I'm gonna put a street lamp here and here, two there, 
two there, and two there. So that'll give me a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve lights, which means I'm going to use three of the light hubs. They have four lights on each. So what I'm going to do is place my light hubs inside of the buildings. I'll take these up and show you. There's one, two, three light hubs. And then in this small building here, I'm going to put the expansion hub, which will power each one of those. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take all the buildings off the layout, draw lines where I'm going to put the wiring, and then you'll see where we go from there. All right, the next step in the lighting, you notice that we've put these little stitched lines in areas. Those are the lines where the wires are going to run. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this router and we're going to cut trenches so we can run our wires underneath the streets which you can see we've pulled up and this is a good idea it gives you an idea of why i always draw my streets and buildings in so i know what i'm doing so we're going to cut with the router and see what happens as i lift this street section you'll notice the trench that runs underneath of all the buildings that's where i put my wires you don't have to do that you can drill holes and just drop them down through the platform we've put all of our trenches down under the roadway run all the lights to the buildings, to the street lamps, and to the cars. If you look down in here and you zoom in, you can see the lighting that's going on. So that's basically it. We took the Just Plug and Play um, Woodland Scenics product, inserted it all into our layout, and there you have it. You've got lighted buildings. So we've laid all the wiring, we've put the lights in the houses, we've done the street lamps, you got your cars lit up. So this is really basically the whole train layout. Now we've finished everything. We glued some people down into the, the buildings and onto the sidewalk so that now we have a population. Um, and we'll just tweak things here and there, but we're basically finished the train layout. Amazing, 20, 21 weeks of work, and there it is.